I'm Vicky, and welcome back to the Opera Stage. 欢迎光临 In the last episode, we learned about the first impression of the Peking Opera, and today let's find out more history and interesting rules of Peking Opera at the People's Theatre in Beijing. The new Chinese vocabularies of this episode are Li Yuan, Xing Tao, Kai Xiang. In the past, before entering the backstage, actors had to play respectful salutes in front of the memorial tablet of the founder of Li Yuan. After the salute, they're allowed to do makeup and dress-up preparation. When we watch TV show, we always hear the term Li Yuan. Li Yuan is a garden full of pears, and the opera industry is also known as Li Yuan industry. Why? What's the origin? Who's the founder? With these questions, we invited teacher Li Jiyong to teach us about Li Yuan. Uh, Li Yuan 呢，就是在唐朝的长安城，它有一个地名叫梨园。它是皇家的一种娱乐的场所。到那个李隆基的，就是唐玄宗呢，啊，那会儿就变成了教戏曲的地方，唱戏的地方。所以说，它就演变成了一个唱戏的场所。到后来，人把戏曲的统称为梨园。所以这个是我们最初看戏的地方。对对对，它有点像什么发祥地，戏曲发祥地啊，就是就被说成这样，是这个意思。哦、咱咱去哪看戏？梨园、啊。哎，走梨园哦，是这个意思。是这个。哦。哎，这个戏箱是不能随便乱动的，因为在京剧的后台有很多很多的规矩啊。咱们戏箱里边有有时候有很多珍贵的东西，针对的服装啊，针对的道具、啊，所以说那个不经过人别人的同意是不能随便乱动的。In ancient times, costumes for opera performance were called 行头 Remember, 头 is a light sound. 行头。而且现在的京剧人呢，也一直在遵守着这个。传统这个规律，戏箱在戏剧人的心目中是神圣的。啊，还有一点就是一个剧团，它拥有多少只戏箱，能证明它的实力有多雄厚。When the Spring Festival break approaches, the troupe will put all the xing tao in the boxes, indicating that they will take a break. And this process is called feng xiang, which literally means box sealing. After the Chinese New Year, the actors will open all the boxes and present their first performance again. This process is called Kai Xiang, which literally means unboxing. So Kai Xiang opening the box means their first performance of the year. These theatre boxes are not only loaded with clothing, shoes, hats, and props, but also the history of Chinese Peking opera and Chinese culture. In this episode, we learned Li Yuan, Xing Tao, Kai Xiang, and behind-the-scenes habits of the actors. In the next episode, we will continue to explore different roles in Peking opera.